Hello, and welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam. If you enjoy bullet journaling as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay connected. Today, we are on our very last day of our self-care challenge. I'm so sad that it's over, but maybe we can do it another time. So today we're gonna to be talking about reflection. So we're just reflecting on all of the past week's stuff that we did um, on self-care. So let's get to it. So as always, I'm starting with a pencil sketch and then I immediately go in with my uh, days of the week washi tape and then I go through and outline each of the boxes for each of the days of the week. I wanted to try something different, so I outlined the bottom right corner of each of the boxes with the black Papermate flare pen, and then I went back through with my white jelly roll to write in the days of the week. And then I go through and give everything a drop shadow. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll notice that most of the pictures in my journal are burned around the edges. And I want to make a video on that, so if you're interested in seeing how I do that, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. So this is the final week of our self-care challenge, and this time we are just reflecting on all of the stuff we did in the past. So on this little card, I wrote, it's hard to maintain all seven aspects of self-care at once, but breaking it up and only focusing on one thing at a time creates a more balanced and stable life. And then on the back of this card, I wrote this quote that says, the state of your life is nothing more than the reflection of your state of mind. I turned this little card into a fold out page by scoring the edges um, where I wanted it to fold. And then I taped this string to the back of it and around so that I could tie it down to keep it flat. And this little craft paper is for my food log. I haven't been eating very much, so I wanted to keep track of what I was eating, so I decided to add this little food log on the side here. Now I'm just giving this page a little header, which is just April and then the uh, 15th through the 21st. And I'm using this little stencil for the numbers. I don't remember where I got it from. I think it was Joann's. I think I got it on clearance. Um, I can't really link that down below for you because I don't remember what it's called or where I got it. So <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I add a little shadow to the numbers and the letters in April and that about wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. If you happen to do any recreations of this, you can tag me on Instagram. My information can be found in the description. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I post bullet journal videos twice a week. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!